into another segment of pointing out the obvious. We call it Homer's Corner. It's our sports page where I, Patrick Russell, EA, along with my venerable co-host, will choose to talk about the sports stories and only the sports stories that we give a shit about. All right, Blaine, we're gonna keep it close to home. We're gonna talk about a little of the Phoenix Suns and their phenomenal play in the playoffs. Right now, they sit in the Western Conference semifinals, commanding a 2-0 lead over the Denver Nuggets. Now, I could talk about Chris Paul and his sensational play as a leader on the court, making everybody's game better. I could even talk about Devin Booker, who has just been a superstar in this playoffs, and we have yet to see the full potential and upside of this young gunner. Now, I want to talk about the Denver Nuggets big man, Nikola Jokic, who just recently won the 2021 NBA Most Valuable Player Award, and is the first player from the European country of Serbia to do so, which is kind of hard to believe because as you know, European countries like Serbia and Croatia have provided a lot of NBA products, even now with Luka Doncic, you've got Giannis Antetokounmpo, you've got Bogdan Bogdanovic, yeah, all a mouthful, right? I mean, down the line, Peja Stojakovic, Vlade Divac, shoot. I mean, there's been a few clunkers in there. Who can forget Dario Milicic in that disaster of a draft? But barring that black sheep, you're looking, you're looking at a long line of great European players that have provided such fantastic entertainment to the NBA fan. My question to you, Blaine, is this. The NBA as a global brand, is the common American sports fan ready to truly embrace as one of their own, a European player or even an Asian player down the line, or are we secretly yearning, as all homers do, for our sports heroes to be American and to have last names that you can remember how to say after the third beer? Your thoughts. Thank you, Brother Pat. People, what a tremendous opportunity to showcase an American success story of our immigration system. Too often, I hear the good, hardworking people of the USCIS get negatively maligned by tree-hugging, bleeding heart liberals who are merely doing their job and trying to keep every Tom, Dick, and Harry with a harrowing tale of escaping tyranny and certain death from getting inside our borders. What's wrong with that? We have rules, people, and paperwork. Lots of paperwork. Nikolai Jozic showed the world that with a lot of money and a team of highly trained attorneys, you can easily navigate the American immigration system and properly receive your residency the right way. Thank you, Nikolai, for being a shining example that the American Immigration Service is working like it should. God bless. So what you're saying, as long as you're a seven foot distributor with a wicked jump shot, you'll have no problem getting a green card? <laughs> no, brother Pat, you got it all wrong. Even a midget with two left feet can be number one at something if to play the game right. God bless. <laughs>